Hello, I'm Jezza. Um, this is a quick tutorial on beat mixing in Audition. I am by no means the authority on beat mixing. Uh, look at videos by Konsky and Black O and BT. Those guys are the masters at this stuff. But uh, I know a lot of people don't have access to Pro Tools in the certain markets they're in. So um, if you have Audition, this will show you how to beat mix in that. All right, so most pop songs these days are about 125 beats per minute to 130 beats per minute. So I've got a beat here. Uh, that I know is 128 beats per minute. I prepared this one before the show. So let's have a listen back. Yeah. So I've already edited out the silence um, at the start of this beat and at the end of it, so I know it's a perfect loop. So if I right click on it, I can go loop properties, enable looping, um, and then I can drag it and it's gonna be a perfect loop. Beautiful. All right, so first of all, I want to count out eight beats, two bars. So the way I do it is just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So there's the one beat over here. I'm going to split just before that beat, zoom right in. Well, I didn't get that quite on, so I'll just undo that. So just before the start of the beat, split it. So I've got a perfect eight beats. Beautiful. Uh, I've got a couple of hooks here. I'm going to drag in Winter Gordon Dirty Talk and we'll listen back to her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Cool, so you heard the one beat, the down beat. Boom, there it is. So I'm going to go to the start of that. Where this crashes at the start of the beat. Split just before the start of the beat and delete the stuff before it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So there is eight beats there. I'm going to split that. So we've got another perfect eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good time. So we've got two clips that are both eight beats, but they're different tempos. So I'm going to drag Winter Gordon across over here and line up the two down beats, the two one beats, exactly. Cool, so they're lined up. Now they're different tempos, but if we have a look, there's our perfect eight beats on our backing beat. Now we want to enable clip time stretching. Go to view, go enable clip uh, time stretching. There we go. And now when I hold the cursor over this, the bottom right of a clip, the time stretching comes up. So I can click and drag that Winter Gordon. I'm dragging Winter Gordon to the end of the backing beat, the eight beats. So now these eight beats, will be perfectly in tempo. So we can see the beats are lining up there. They're lining up there as well. And of course, at the start, the downbeat, they're lining up. So let's listen back to that. Great, we're a DJ, they're lining up. So I'll add in another hook, we'll get Kesha. I've got as much of this hook, so I'm gonna count out probably four beats this time. One, two, three, four. So you can tell the one beat, the down beat is on blow. <laughs> blow. Cool. So I'm going to split just before the blow. Uh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Ignore that. Uh, going to count out four beats. One, two, three, four, one. Done. There we go. So split just before the next one beat. One, two, three, four. Go, on, man. I'm going to go back to our backing beat, count out four beats. One, two, three, four, one. Cool, so I can tell the one beat is there. And we'll drag our Kesha hook across. And there's the start of the one of our backing beat, the start of the one on Kesha. You go over here and look, Kesha's a little bit uh, slower than our backing beat, so I'll need to speed her up. I'm going to grab her and pull her across. So now that lines up perfectly. Now it's beat mixed. Great. Uh, now I can pull the start of that cashew hook across because uh, we had it there before. The it's about to bit. So here we go. It's about to. Cool. I'll fade Winter Gordon down with a crossfade handle. Great. I'll extend the end of the cashew hook as well. B -b -b Great. So let's listen back to that. Yeah. 
Now, the fun stuff, um, editing stuff, make sure you always do edits on the beat, edits in tempo. So if we have a listen to the end of this, uh, 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 I might uh, cut out, see I can, there's a, a marker on our backing beat that I'm going to chop, I'll chop it to the end of that beat. So I've created a little gap there, I'll do the same thing over here. So I'm going to, it will sound a bit stuttered uh, with the funky beat. But all the stutters will be in tempo because I'm I'm using my backing beat as kind of like a marker to make these little edits. So there's a the edit, point, edit point up there. I'll chop and go up to the start of the beat here. A bit out of sync, that's right. I've just just done this quickly. Um, so that should sound pretty cool at the end of that pressure hook. Cool, I might chop that last one off too. So there is the end of that. Now we want to add some swoosh. Uh, important with swoosh always to make sure it lines up on the beat. So here's some swoosh I've got. I'm going to put that boo bit on the down beat at the start of our mix. So it'll sound like this. Great. Oh, and wrong button again. Uh, and then at the end of it too. Um, that's a perfect little end there. Cool. Now I'll get rid of all my crap over on this side. I'm going to press my hotkey for mixing down or bouncing to new track is M. One of the good things about Audition, don't have to wait for it to play out. And this is the mix. Cool, now we can spend hours on this mix and make it sound funky and cool and add more hooks and stuff in there. But there is the basic theory. Count out eight beats. I find eight to be a good length of a hook usually. Um, count out eight on your backing beat as well. Uh, line them up, time stretch them so they're both exactly the same length and that will mean they're in tempo and you're having a great day. Uh, cool, um, any questions? I don't know what to do. Um, ask your mum. Cheers, goodbye.